Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Peter Koning has been an oil and gas industry insider for decades. Lately, though, he's developed a growing passion for alternative energy. Each week, Peter scans the web for news stories about green energy and then shares highlights in an e-newsletter. It's just a way for me to learn about these areas of wind, solar, energy storage, distributed generation, all those kinds of things. Peter calls his newsletter Energy Shift. He designed Energy Shift as a wake-up call to colleagues in the field of conventional energy. Part of it was the motivation was really to create a bit of unease in our own sector about hey, are you really paying attention to what's going on in this space? Peter sees climate change as humanity's number one challenge. In order to face it at a corporate, national, or global level, we must first confront our individual stake in climate change. Hey, we know that the balance of evidence is pointing to anthropogenic global climate change, and so let's acknowledge that. Governments are getting on board with it, companies are getting on board with it. The challenge I think now is is often at the personal level, are we really acknowledging it? Through his online research, Peter's often electrified, pardon the pun, by rapid progress being achieved elsewhere in the world. The pace of change can be daunting, particularly when we cast our eyes on Asia. Boy, that's the thing to watch, China and India, but China especially because of the way that they approach things and the mandates that they can put in place and just make stuff happen. And the build-out of wind power, the build-out of their electrification of transport with cities having 17,000 electric buses in one city alone. Peter is particularly excited by the idea of distributed generation. Businesses and households installing small-scale wind and solar and feeding their excess energy into the grid. It's the wave of the future, but Peter worries we'll be left behind. I see in Canada far less use of those kinds of tools by utilities than in other parts of the world. And my question remains, why? What is it that's stopping us? Peter calls his newsletter Energy Shift because he sees green energy as an evolution, not a revolution. In Alberta's case, 100 megaton limit provides some room for us to grow, to innovate, to bend the curve on emissions and still be able to go about our work of providing affordable energy to the globe. And so in this case, we can look after both the climate and the economy. And that's why I think you're seeing companies support it. As a career oil and gas man, Peter might seem like an unlikely advocate for alternative energy. But his reputation in the oil and gas industry helps him reach those who might otherwise resist the concept of climate action. Because it is a more polarized environment. People are, I think, increasingly in their own camps. And I think to be seen as an oil and gas guy that's paying attention to these things has helped to open up conversations that I might not have had otherwise. And I'm learning from it, and I think vice versa. Energy Shift attempts to navigate polarized waters with a message that both conventional and alternative energy resources are a way forward economically and to combat climate change. To sign up for your own free subscription to Energy Shift, simply visit stewardingenergy.com. Meanwhile, check out our photos and blog at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.